What's going on, beautiful people? I'm Lando. So that's your favorite motivational teacher to go is whenever you come to my page, leave you knowing something that you didn't know before you came here. Make sure you press that subscribe button, like button, and hit that bell notification button. You'll get notified whenever I do a new video right to your phone or tablet. So the first news we have, Jack Dorsey and Jay-Z created Be Trust. Here's the board plans to invest 500 Bitcoins in Africa. That's such a great concept, and this is my first time ever hearing about it. Meet 22 years old Abu Baker. He's the chief technology officer in the early stage of Bitcoin VC fund focus in Africa called Recursive Capital, a computer science researcher and coder. He's also a board member of B-Trust, a new endowment fund of 500 Bitcoin for development across Africa and India. About six months ago, his older brother suggested that he apply for the role as a new board member of B-Trust, which was created by Jay-Z and Jack Dorsey, current CEO of Block, formerly known as Square. It will be set up as a blind, irrevocable trust, taking zero direction from us, Dorsey said in, in a tweet. But never expected that out of the 7,000 applicants, he will be chosen, he told Blockworks. But he was picked alongside three other candidates. Now it's time for the four of them to get down to business. The endowment mission is to make Bitcoins the internet currency, Nerd said. Nerd said the fund will also center on transparency and openness. It's very, very important for us to keep it as transparent as possible, he said. We'll be communicating a lot about the process, our thinking, and the things we are going to be doing going ahead primarily through Twitter, he added. We are looking to start in Africa initially, but then gradually expand into other regions in the global south. So that's places like India as well. And then in general, with regards to the overall vision, we feel there are so many disparities in some of the regions like Africa in terms of the actual amount of talented developers versus those of them that are actually working on Bitcoin, he added. What we are trying to optimize for is trying to do things gradually because there's a lot and we won't just look at the ecosystem and just throw a bunch of money into it. We still have to be meticulous on what the impact is, what the outcome we are looking for, and then look at ways that make it easy for us to address those things going forward. So you can read the rest of it on crypto news. I want to see what are y'all thoughts in the comments about this. Overall, it's a um, great deal. I love it. Jack Dorsey and Jay-Z. Shout out to y'all. Next news, popular Miami nightclub 11 by board ape number 11 for 400,000. 11 Partners, the company behind the high profile 11 Miami nightclub, Announced Monday that his purchased Board 8 Club number 11 for 99 ETH, that is 396,000. After studying Board 8 Club for some time, we started to notice the traits that resonated with 11. Believe it or not, our favorite ape just happened to be number 11. 11's partner owner Michael Simpkins told Block in the email. Simpkins said his firm has contacted the owner of the NFT via Discord. At first, it was very hesitant to sell. But after some back and forth that was able to mutually agree, he said, um, can somebody elaborate who was, um, hesitant to sell a $400,000 picture of an NFT? Anybody, please. Simpkins added 11 is excited about exploring marketing opportunities with the board eight club number 11. This is his first purchase of an NFT. The nightclub have already processed over 4 million in cryptocurrency payments since it first began accepting crypto in April this year, according to a release. That is dope. I had no idea a club was accepting Bitcoin with crypto and they already accepted over 4 million. That's that's low key kind of huge. Let me know in the comments what y'all thoughts about this. You can actually read this on cryptonews.net. This will be the few that pushes Bitcoin to $100,000, according to veteran trader Tone Vase. We have a lot of people always predicting things. In a new YouTube session, Vase sell his 118,000 subscribers that BTC has risen to a new level of critical resistance that it must break through to reach 100,000. The part to really capture is going to be this monster breakout from approximately 69,000 to 100,000. We don't really know what the price of Bitcoin is going to do but we are taking our best statistical shot. Some people are going to get very, very upset that Bitcoin isn't breaking out of this triangle quick enough for them. And that will be the few that drive Bitcoin all the way to 100K. So we did a chart right here saying, all right, here's this is where we at. And I guess they see a breaking point. I'm not too big on chart reading. I can't even um, hold you up on that. The trader says that previously he was looking at a 200 week moving average chart in case of a catastrophic break. 
but he now thinks BTC is in the clear. During the last couple candles, I removed the short-term moving average and replaced them with long-term moving average in the case there was a catastrophic break the catastrophic break didn't come when asked what is a further correction down to 48,000 would mean for bitcoin futures they says if we get hammered back to 48,000 we can then go from 48,000 to 62,000 then 62,000 to 55,000 and then break out but if we go straight to 62,000 we can then spend our good time coming back to 52,000. It doesn't actually change. Whether we get rejected now and go back to 48,000 or get rejected later at 62,000 and go down to 52,000. That doesn't matter. So what is y'all thoughts on that? When do you think Bitcoin will hit 100,000? Do you guys believe that it will go back to 48,000? He's saying no matter what we do, it's going to go back down before we break all the way through to 100,000. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Last but not least, 2022 prediction. Gaming will lead to a further crypto adoption. Just off of reading this, I believe it. It say in 2021 was the year of the NFT, literally. The term was so acclaimed that the dictionary publisher Collins named it word of the year. But beyond tokenized art, play to earn non-fungible tokens, game surge in popularity. Funding the crypto gaming company hits 500 million in its first and a half year. Blockchain-based gaming uh, arguably has gone from fringe to mainstream in the past 12 months. For example, Unisoft, a traditional game publisher, announced in-game NFT integration in early December. This move is just the beginning as the gaming NFT market nears 10 billion Blockworks spokes with the industry executives about biggest prediction year to come. Gaming makes crypto easy to grasp. It's going to lead the adoption curve because the nature of the medium. It's entertaining and it's fun. Makes crypto easy to grasp. Kumar, who runs the gaming advisory and research firm, told Blockworks in an interview. I want to know what is y'all thoughts about that. I am fully bullish on that. I believe 2022 is going to be the year of the gaming and metaverse and it's going to completely take over. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am Lando Success. I hope you learned something new. Make sure you press the subscribe button, like button, and the bell notification button. Until next time, and I'm out.